Hey there, Falcons Nation. Welcome back to the channel. Before we dive into today's hot topic, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss the latest updates, rumors, and breakdowns about our beloved Falcons. Now, let's get into the good stuff. Today, we're discussing Kirk Cousins, Michael Penix Jr., and why some fans might be too quick to call for a major overhaul at the quarterback position. So, let's break it all down. To start, we have to understand that Kirk Cousins isn't just a stopgap quarterback. The Falcons committed big with a four-year, $180 million contract, and the structure of that deal is crucial. While it provides some flexibility after two seasons, cutting or trading Cousins before 2026 would come with a hefty salary cap hit one that the Falcons simply can't afford. If you're thinking about rushing Penix Jr. onto the field as Atlanta's eighth overall pick, pump the brakes. Unless Cousins completely underperforms or gets injured, the Falcons are likely going to stick with him for at least two more seasons. This decision isn't just about loyalty. It involves financial strategy and maintaining competitiveness. It's easy to point fingers at Cousins after a couple of rough outings, especially as we head into the bye week. But let's remember the game-winning drive against the Eagles that really saved Atlanta's season or when he set the franchise records for passing yards in a single game against the Bucs. He also played a key role in that critical division win against the Saints. These moments highlight what Cousins is capable of at his best. Yes, the last few games have been frustrating, but Kirk's history shows that this slump is likely an exception. He's a veteran with the experience to bounce back and it's important to not lose sight of that because of a few bad passes. Moreover, even if Penix Jr. is ready, moving him in won't resolve the Falcons' biggest issues issues that stem from a defense struggling to generate consistent pressure and questionable game plans from coordinator Jimmy Lake. Now, let's address the trade rumors surrounding Cousins and the New York Giants, who might be looking to move on from Daniel Jones. On paper, it seems plausible Cousins could be a short-term solution for them, but there are too many hurdles. The Falcons would incur a $60 million dead cap hit, and let's not forget that Cousins holds a no-trade clause. Plus, with Atlanta leading the NFC South, it's hard to picture them making such a move mid-season. So, to wrap it up, Cousins isn't going anywhere this season or next, and Penix will have to wait for his chance. In the meantime, the focus should be on fixing the defensive struggles and refining the overall game plan. Now, I want to hear from you Falcons fans. Do you think Kirk Cousins deserves more time to prove himself, or should the team start planning for the Penix Jr. era? And what's your take on the trade rumors with the Giants? Could Atlanta really pull the trigger on that? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Shifting gears a bit, Let's talk about what Falcons fans should keep an eye on during this bye week. There's plenty to watch as the NFC South drama unfolds. First up, we have the Giants taking on the Buccaneers. Although it might not seem thrilling, this game has big implications for the Falcons. The Bucs are only 1.5 games back, and they'll be facing a Giants team dealing with its own quarterback issues. We definitely need the Giants to step up and help us maintain our lead in the division. Next, don't miss the Chargers versus Ravens game. This matchup features the Chargers, who are on fire and led by MVP 